Hello people, how are you going? This is Glenn again from the centre and today we're just going to have a little talk about climate change and we can see what the left and right think that climate change is and whether they actually believe it or not. So, on the right, we have Glenn on the right. On the left, we have Glenn on the left. So, let the debate begin. So first of all, we're going to start with the right because as you know, the right have a more controversial uh, opinion of climate change than what the left do. And so we'll hand it over to Glenn on the left. So Glenn, what do you think uh, about climate change? Well, thank you Glenn. I appreciate coming on this debate. Or well, not really a debate because there's nothing to debate. Climate change, what is climate change? Well. Climate change is a communist, Zionist, United States conspiracy. It's a conspiracy designed to make people scared and to make everyone follow whatever the government says. So it's just conspiracy. It's a conspiracy to take away our rights, conspiracy to take away our free speech, and it's just conspiracy, man. See, the way we see it is that Climate change has always happened. It always happens, the climate changes on this planet, and nothing that humans are doing at the moment is actually impacting that. So we're not actually doing anything to uh, make climate change happen or increase its effects. It's a natural cycle, you know? We have um, the grand solar minimum, and uh, well, where I am at the moment, it's cold. It's colder than what it should be. So. Obviously, because uh, there's not enough energy from the sun, the planet's getting colder. And that's basically it. And sooner or later, we are going to actually have a ice age. So, the planet's cooling, we're going to have an ice age. And that's basically what it is. Um, and as to scientists, well, they are part of conspiracy. All their data is doctored. So... We can't trust their data because we don't even know if it's actually correct. Their data, it's just full of shit. I can make up some data. Oh, look at this graph. It went, woo! There you go. I showed you a graph of some data going up. And I just put labels on it. So, that's basically what we think about scientists. They're untrustworthy. They're actually Zionist conspiracies. And also part of the Muslim trying to take over the planet. So, climate change. It's a communist, Zionist, United States Muslim conspiracy. That's what we think it is. And, uh, well, that's my answer to what climate change is. We'll see what the left has to say. They'll probably go, oh, we're all gonna die. Because I'm the left, oh. You know, you can't trust the left. They're all liars. Just like Muslims, you can't trust them. They're all liars, so. Thanks for letting me have my little topic. Whoa, so, climate change. Well, climate change, unlike the person on the right, climate change is not a conspiracy. Science is developed around a consensus of a majority of scientists, but more importantly, it's based on evidence that gives the scientists cons consensus. So in this case, we have a people making a consensus about how the climatic system works. Now the basis for those are meteorologists, but we also have our paleoclimatologists which study um, historical patterns of climate via geological data. We also have geologists who study um, uh, geological formations. We have our paleontologists which study ancient faunas. We have uh, physicists who, who um, know how, well, atoms and combinations of atoms work together and how physics and subatomic particles work together. We have chemists which study how, well, basically electrons work and now those combinations of electrons can uh, alter a, a single atom's behaviour. Um, and when they combine with other atoms, the behaviour, and a lot of things actually change on it. 
we have mathematicians who mathematics is the basis of reality so that's really interchangeable oh what else we have our biologists they can study patterns of change within our environment we have uh, ooh, oh, it's lots of things oh. so they're just the basic scientists who actually have an impact on how we study the climate and the effects of climate on um, well on the planet really but is climate change real yeah well it is and as the right said climate change is always happening yeah well that's basically it. climate change is always happening the climate's always changing but this time is different we are taking carbon dioxide and we are taking it out of the ground so we're taking it out of the ground in the form of oil and coal and we are releasing it in the atmosphere so the basis all you need to know is that the mole how the molecule of carbon and methane and ever uh, molecules that are made up of more than one type of atom so we're not talking about oxygen which is o2 um how those interact with energy and how when you have two atoms like you have a carbon and oxygen the little bond in between actually it can vibrate it can stretch and it can bend in accordance with how much energy is actually in it and you put enough energy in it that will become so much that it just breaks but a lot of the time that needs a hell of a lot of energy but in the meantime they are just absorbing energy and they are releasing it back into the atmosphere and then it hits another atom wiggles wiggles and it just, um, when uh, you pump more carbon dioxide or methane into the atmosphere, it has the ability to retain more energy and not radiate it back into space. So at the moment, because we have put more methane, more CO2 into the atmosphere, it's actually retaining more energy, not radiating it out to the atmosphere. And that is actually going to change the weather patterns. Yes, it is. It's going to change the weather patterns. It's going to change the uh, fluctuations between hot and cold. It's going to change the wind patterns. It's going to change um, the reflectivity of our surface of um, the planet. So we have less ice. The planet's going to get warmer. And because the planet's getting warmer, it's going to melt more ice. And because the planet's melting more ice, it's getting warmer. So it's a feedback loop, feedback loop. And scientists, who are pretty independent, yes, they do rely for a lot of their funding on uh, either private donations or most likely governments. Mm. They actually um, are well scrutinised within their field. But I feel that they can actually do more to try and establish... A rapport between themselves and the public because I feel they're not communicating properly so we do have a few scientists that can communicate properly like um, Tim Flannery in Australia um, who else uh, David Attenborough is not a scientist but he's a good communicator uh, a few others I can't think offhand but we need a lot more. And that's where YouTube comes in. YouTube can give scientists a voice. So, climate change is real. And if you don't get your ass into gear, it's going to really affect us. How will it affect us? Well, the changing patterns of the climate will affect the availability of food. And that will affect jobs. Because if um, areas where our crops are growing, like wheat, rice and all that, if those patterns change, like there's a drop in water for wheat, or an increase in water for wheat, an increase heat, then wheat can't grow. For rice, if uh, the water, well, if it becomes dry, then rice can't grow, it becomes, well, too cold, rice will not grow. Um, so, 
species actually require a certain set of requirements in which to grow. And that's, well, that's basically for the majority of species. And if that changes, they'll either try and migrate to the habitat where environmental conditions are suited, but also soil conditions are suited to them, or they'll just die out in the area. And that's basically how life is. So we're not, humans are not really concerned with species extinction, they just never are majority or not. But if our food availability changes, we're pretty much stuffed. So we have to do something about it so our civilizations can actually survive. And that's basically what the left think climate change is. So I'd like to thank you to the guy in the centre for letting us have our little talk. So people, that is basically what the left and right think that climate change is. Um, the left think it's something that's real, something that's tangible, and it's going to affect our food supply. And that's basically what I believe is going to happen. But the left reckon, uh, the right reckon it's going, it's a conspiracy. Uh, well, maybe the, in the past, some scientists have been a bit dubious, but in this aspect, I don't think there's any conspiracy because there's all these scientists um, who have a consensus, which is not disputed, that climate change is happening. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Please give this video a thumbs up if you're uh, willing to like any debates and yeah please subscribe to my channel and have an awesome one bye bye